Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on use of the list function in Stata. In order to get going we're going to preload the census 13 data set that is preloaded in Stata. It's quite familiar to folks who are working their way through Stata tutorials and certainly I use it a lot. It's a data set about the demographic characteristics of states including birth rate, population, median age, and uh, sorted by division and region, for example. And what we're going to do today is we're going to use the list function to show you birth rate, median age, and population by state. I'm just going to highlight my code here so you can see what that looks like. List is the command, and then state, B rate, median age, population, and enter. Now if you're like me when you first pulled up a table like this in Stata using the list function, you realized it doesn't really look all that good. This is not the kind of thing you could plop down into a, a paper or uh, another format and have it look very good. So we're going to use the tab disp command instead, which I'm going to show you here in a second. Tab disp state comma cell being a command here and then in parentheses you're going to have the variables of interest that you're looking at and press enter. And you see that that is just a much cleaner looking way to list these variables. You could, if you liked, highlight this in Stata, right click it, and then you could copy it as a picture, as a HTML, as a table, and it would just be a lot better looking in the format of an academic paper. I did want to remind you that using Stata's very rich conditional commands and easy to understand commands, like the if command here, you can modify that list so here what I've done with this code is I'm creating the same list except for the northeast states and region number one just so you know in this data set is northeast so the code here is if region equals equals these are two equal signs put together one which is northeast and what I did that way was I just delimited the data set to these states in the northeast and you can do the same thing using tab display but I do want to call your attention to very important comma here which I've highlighted. If you don't put that in, this command will not execute. So there are some, I guess you could call them structural dissimilarities in how you set up the conditional command using tab display. Otherwise it's really the same. We said tab display state because state comes first. It ends up being, I guess what you could call the sorting variable here all the way on the left. Using the cell command, we just listed all the variables that we wanted to see associated with the state and then we added the if command here at the end to delimit that to the northeast. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.